Today in this video, let's learn about CRIT. If you guys haven't seen the previous video about capacity, go check it out. The link appears up here and it's even in the description too. In this video, we will cover its definition, formula and how to calculate it. So let's get started. C rate can be defined as the measurement of the rate at which the battery cell can be charged or discharged in relation to the cell's capacity. The C rate does not change based on the capacity of a battery cell. Instead, it is an incentric property of the battery cell itself. C rate is calculated as a multiple of the capacity rating of this battery. Let me make it easier to understand with an example. A battery cell with a rated capacity of 2 amperes and a maximum continuous discharge current of 4 amp has a C rate of 2. This battery would be known as 2C battery. We get C rate by dividing the maximum discharge current rating by the capacity, which is calculated as C rate is 4 amps divided by 2 ampere, which gives us 2. If a same cell has a maximum discharge rating of 6 amp instead of 4 amp, it would be a 3C battery. If the maximum discharge rating is of 10 amps, it would give us 5C battery. But if it had a capacity of 5 ampere instead of 2 ampere, then it would be back to 2C battery. Got it? If not, try working out those examples on a paper using the same questions as above. The C rate is important because it is used to compare the relative power of cells even when cells have different readings. For example, a big 10 amp cell might be rated for 10 amp maximum discharge, while a smaller 2.5 amp cell is rated for 5 amp discharge. At first, it might seem like the big cell is more powerful as it can provide twice the current that the small cell can provide, right? However, it is the smaller cell that is more powerful relatively as it has higher C rate. The smaller cell has a C rating of 2 while the larger cell has a C rating of 1. If we combine 4 of the smaller cells together in a parallel, we would make a 10 amp battery that will be having its maximum rate at 20 amp maximum discharge. Now let's compare that to the original bigger 10 amp battery cell and we can see that the bigger cell is in fact the weaker cell as it is rated only 10 amp maximum discharge. If you find this video helpful, do hit the like button. To learn more about EVs, go subscribe to my channel where I'll be posting videos consistently. Check out the website given in the description where you can upload blogs, resolve your queries and you can also watch our previous videos with a clear and detailed explanation. There is a community page completely dedicated for EV enthusiasts around the globe. In the upcoming video, we shall learn about maximum charge rate and maximum discharge rate. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.